how is it going, gents, woe gents, and any other potentially majestical creatures of the animal kingdom that may happen to watch this video? I am bringing you all another Modern Warfare 3 Niches and Glitches video. Today I'm going to be showing you all primarily some really great lines of sight on the map village, but I'm also going to be showing you all some really good nade spots as well. Before I go on too long of a pointless rant, let's just uh, get to it. If you happen to be over by B-Flag and Domination, I don't know, maybe you're capping the flag, maybe you're just looking for hidden teddy bears, you can jump up on this tiny little pile of trash that is hoping to be a hill when it grows up someday, and look through that little slit, and you can see over there to this back flank route. Maybe you think someone's over here, maybe you saw them on the mini-map, just look through that line of sight, it's a uh, really great line of sight, and uh, I promise you'll pick up a few kills with that one. It's pretty good, I've used it myself a couple times, and uh, yeah, just keep that one in mind whenever you're over there by B-Flag. Now moving on over to uh, C flag or over here, this area of the map, this alleyway over here is uh, very highly populated to say the least. You know, there's people running back in this alleyway over here and there's lots of people sitting over here. So I don't know, maybe they're uh, sitting back here watching a couple spawn points. Uh, but what you can do is come over here and lay prone. You can look underneath the sheet metal and you have a beautiful line of sight. I'm talking beautiful over to uh, them. Even if they're head glitching on a couple crates here, I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, what I like to do sometimes, especially in free-for-all, is sit behind these boxes right here. And there's a spawn point right back in there. Uh, right back there. So just beware of that. But uh, lots of people like to sit here in free-for-all and camp that. So if anyone's back here head glitching, use that line of sight. I guarantee you're going to pick up a few kills. It's really fantastic. Moving on, we have a nice little line of sight in the dip in the cinder block wall over here. You can look through it and see all the way to the white truck that some would uh, argue is on the other side of the map. It's a really great spot. A lot of people like to sit there and camp. I'm sure you all know them. I sit over here a lot in pretty much every game mode, Domination, TDM, Kill Confirmed, whatever it be, there's lots of people over here, and you can almost always find someone sitting on the bumper of this white truck right here, watching that uh, tower up there, that hill, uh, whatever they're doing, use that line of sight, I, uh, I can almost promise, I can almost guarantee you're going to get a couple kills, fantastic line of sight. Uh, just make sure to use it to your advantage. Now, if you think someone's in that back alleyway over there, you have a couple valid options to uh, check it out. You can look through these uh, little windows right here. Um, you might be able to take them out that way. You can also come up over here on this yellow box and uh, look over this wall and then see into that back alleyway and through a couple windows as well. And then you also have one more option. You can jump up on these barrels in this wooden box here. And uh, this is the sneakiest. You know, you're pretty much not going to be discovered here from uh, from their point of view at least and see through that window. So that's a great spot as well. Now you all know the people camping in here. Maybe they're corner camping back here or something like that. Uh, lots of people like to sit behind this, uh, this lectern, I think it's called. Uh, you know, they just like to do this. I don't know why. I don't find it fun. They find it fun. Don't ask me. But uh, there's lots of people back there quite frequently, and they piss me off. They really do. They're just being little tub thumpers back there. But uh, what you can do is throw a grenade up through this window slot. Just keep these in mind, guys. They're pretty useful. And it's just going to come down and land right in that area. You have another one if you're coming from this direction. You can also throw it through this little window slit right here, and interestingly enough, it does work. It's actually going to fall through the window slit. And then, as you're going to see here, it comes through this window slit, and then it's going to bounce off this wall I'm shooting at, and land somewhere in here. As you see, you got one right there, and then you got another one that landed back in here towards the lectern area. Just remember to keep those nade spots in mind if you ever think someone's camping in that building. Moving on over towards C flag, a lot of people like to sit in that back corner. They like to use that as a flank route. So if you got teammates sitting over here behind these crates, uh, maybe they're hogging this space over here and you can't get to it, I just wanted to bring to you all's attention that you can hop up on this uh, little wooden box here. You can hop up on it and then see over this blue, I don't even know what to call it, but it's a little blue vending machine, I guess you could say. Um, and you can see right over it there, and that's pretty nice. It's a pretty solid head glitch that you can use to your advantage. Over here on this area of the map, over by the white truck, you can actually jump up on this tiny box that I'm on right now and see, especially with a sniper, through these leaves. Now, it's pretty hard to do, but uh, as we move into a private match clip here, you can see the enemies kind of moving back and forth, and your aim assist is definitely going to help you out here. But, uh, you know, if you ever catch them like that, you can just uh, pop a couple shots in their head, whatever you got to do to get the kill. Now, moving on over to this area of the map, uh, you can actually get up on this tree stump, and a lot of people already knew that, but if you didn't, now you know. 
And the reason people like to do this is, particularly in Search and Destroy, there is a bomb site right under here. I think it's B bomb. It might be A. Don't quote me on that. But there's a bomb site right under here, and they're probably gonna have a motion sensor planted so they can watch the flank routes as well. And they're really hard to kill. You know, they're uh, they're pretty hard to kill. It's almost like they're head glitching. And a lot of people like to sit up there on that stump. Your chances of success if you're coming through this alleyway or something, or even flanking, are probably about 30 to 40 percent. And so that's not a very good success rate. And what I like to do is wedge myself in this back corner here you can see just over this white brick wall uh, just to the top of that tree stump and if you scoot back a little bit more you can actually see it perfectly and you can just snipe them take them out whatever you want to do and that's going to bump up your success rate to something more along the lines of 95 98 maybe even 100 percent i've used that in a couple 1v1 search and destroy situations and it's really really fantastic moving on over here this is a pretty little simple line of sight to a flag i just wanted to bring that to you all's attention most people know about it but uh, just in case you didn't now you know if you ever need to get a nade up to B flag while you're under this underpass, I like to call it, it can be pretty hard, but uh, what do you want to do is just bank it off that wall right there, and that's a pretty good nade spot as well. Um, most people don't know about that, so just make sure to use that as much as you can. Moving on over to this area of the map, the back corner I like to call it, this is a very popular area, especially in Team Defender for this map, and there's three different ways that I'm shooting at right now that most people like to come from. Um, if you if you're, have the flag, a lot of people like to come back here and camp. So if you already got a teammate watching that line of sight, what you can do is jump up on this car and then a scoot down and crouch. And you can get a nice head glitch working there on that box. As well as if you come over here and jump up on this ledge, ease around the corner, and you have another nice head glitch watching that uh, area of the map as well, the people coming from where B flag would be. And uh, this is just a really popular area in Team Defender. And yeah, that's about it for that. Now this back area, like I said, is another popular area. And some people like to sit right here and look through that little hole, but that's all right, you know, maybe sit right there. What I like to do the best is come to this little corner of the box, get to the very edge, and then you have a pretty decent line of sight through these leaves. Uh, you can see the people coming through that hallway. Marksman helps a little bit, not too much, but uh, if they're moving, as long as they're moving, you're going to be able to catch them pretty easily. Thank you so much for watching this Modern Warfare 3 Niches and Glitches video. If you enjoyed it and you're new around here, feel free to click on the subscribe button up above or the one on screen right now for more Boomtastic content. Otherwise, guys, feel free to check out either of the videos on screen and have a great day.